What is going on guys? Welcome back. Abel here with STL Tones. Today we're going to be taking a look at your February update for the Amp Hub plugin. You guys are getting a new amplifier, the Saratov M50, which is based on a Sovtech MIG 50. You guys are also getting a cool new feature added into the plugin, but let's get into things and I'll explain what that is. The signal chain for this is going to be this Mayanez Duvel Elite. We are loaded with Seymour Duncan pickups going into a universal audio arrow interface going into Cubase. And of course we are running Amp Hub. Okay, so looking at the plugin, let me just explain what you guys are getting. It's a cool new added feature. If you guys go into your stomp box section, you guys have your effects, which is pretty cool. You're, you got this, the space verb here. What else we got? We got your, you know, your phaser, your chorus, your delay, your reverb, all that fun stuff you can now run before the amplifiers. And if you guys have never done that, it's a really cool effect. It sort of adds like a really sort of a washy type of a deal. I highly recommend experimenting with it. It's really fun. It, it kind of gives you a whole new perspective into how you can use uh, effects as opposed to just using them after the amplifier where of course they sound uh, proper and pretty but when you throw it in front throw some distortion on there you can get some crazy experimental tones it's super fun i highly recommend it but let's get on to the saratov okay uh this is off cool that's off so let's check this out i am in standard no i'm in drop d tuning so let's check this out this is what it's going to look like when you pop this thing up everything at noon we are in mod one and we are at input number two but we're going to move things around so you guys get an idea of what everything sounds like. Let's get this started. For those of you not very familiar with this, the, uh, what this is based on, uh, it's really a powerful classic amplifier. So we are in input number two and we are in mod one. The cool thing is, is you can use this volume almost as a gain. Not exactly, but you can do some pretty cool stuff with this. Let me show you what that does. Now the reason I say you can almost use it as a gain is because if you can tell, even though I turned it all the way up, we're not clipping and your output isn't going insane because it's essentially turning up the gain and uh, nothing else is going up. So. that volume on down and you are now nice and clean. And back to that classic tone. And of course, there's a million different ways that we can be dialing this in right now, but I just want to give you guys a really good idea of the functionality of the amplifier. So I'm not adding pedals, I'm not tweaking knobs yet, but that is just your baseline tone. All right, so let's check out, um, let's stay here and then let's switch the mod switches so you guys see what they do. We're in mod one now, and then let's see what happens when we start switching them around. <laughs> Cool, so as you can see, mod two, a little more aggressive, mod three, way more aggressive. All right, so now let's go back to mod one and then let's check out the inputs because this is pretty fun. So let's go to input one. I feel like there's a lot of added low end when you're in uh, input one. A lot more high end and clarity when you are in input two. 
So we have a low input, we have a high input, but this is cool because you can get both of those at the same time. So if you click one and two, here, we'll move it from two. So now you have all of the low end, the high end, you have a beautiful, very present tone. So let's dial in kind of a clean tone. Again, we haven't tweaked any knobs, so we can do that now. Probably pump out some top end out of this because it's pretty low endy. That sounds pretty cool. It's a good example of what you can do with a clean tone on this amplifier. Obviously, there's a lot more that you can do. You can really play with these volume knobs and sort of gain in, gain out, and kind of figure out where your sweet spot's going to be, whether if you're trying to get like a break up -y type of a tone, where you kind of feel like your amp's pushing air, or if you're going for that pristine clean. Either way, you can get it. But let's go back to number two. Let's bring these up, and let's get some dirt going here. So set everything back to the way it was. And let's hit mod three, bridge pickup. I thought this was pretty cool. If you hit input one and input two, you go basically 11 on everything. You get a really cool, um, like a fuzz tone almost. It's like somewhat of a fuzz tone. Check this out. I thought that was pretty cool because you get a really full tone out of it. So it was pretty fun to play with, but uh, enough toying around. Let me go back to where we were, back to the bridge pickup and input to kind of a high end tone.
think that sounds really cool. That's an awesome classic type of a tone. And like I said, if you guys start moving around these volume knobs, you're gonna get different feels for the gain and you can structure it like differently by moving volume one, volume two, and just finding your sweet spot. All right, let's add some pedals into the mix. We're gonna leave it on that one, two input and we're gonna dial these back to where they were. Let's check our tone. I'm gonna leave the reverb on because I think it sounds killer. <laughs> Let's throw a classic stomp box on this. No more classic than the 808. I'm sure there is, but I just like the 808. So before you guys start yelling at me in the comment section. All right, let's check this out. That sounds really, really cool. Let's try another pedal. Let's find something else. Let's pair it with something just as classic. I don't know. All right, let's try the Tube Screamer on this thing. Same thing, gonna tone over a little bit, level all the way up. What's this sound like? <laughs> sounds awesome. So that's running a two screamer in front of it and gaining or voluming all the way up in that volume two. We're still using that input. Let's, let's do both. Let's see what happens. <laughs> For it backed off, I think it gives. I think it gives it just the right amount of gain. <laughs> All right, guys, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for me. As always, if you guys are watching this video, that means this is now live and available for download. So head over to stltones.com and update your plugin. If you guys enjoyed the video, please hit that like, that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you see all the new videos and products that STL Tones is rolling out. My name's Abel Hernandez. I will catch you guys on the next video.